All right, we are going to insert an image for reference um, and uh, scale it so we can use it for a background to create some walls, roofs, and floors. So I'm in my level one. I'm going to come down to my view control bar down here and go to wireframe. I'm going to go to my insert, bring up my insert ribbon, and under the import panel is image. So I'm going to left click on image and I'm going to navigate to the plan CB. I gave you a copy of this file so just navigate to that, highlight it, and click open. And it comes in, um, that X uh, denotes the size of the image. We're going to scale it so just left click somewhere near this, um, this area right here where the two sections come together and it's going to place that image in there. Now I'm scrolling my middle mouse wheel to get a little closer to it. Now, what we want to do now is we want to scale it. We have a couple of options. There is a graphical scale in here that we could use, which is quite handy, um, but sometimes you don't have that. So having done some reading on the um, Case 22 house, I know that these columns are on 20 foot centers. So I'm going to go ahead and use these two columns to scale that image by. So right now the image is selected. You can see that by going to your properties bar. If it's not selected, so now it's not selected, just left click on it until it comes up. And in your modify panel here, there is a scale. So left click on that, make sure graphical is selected. And the first point you want to select is your base point, And that's going to be in the middle of the left column. And the second point is the end point of a line definition that um, tells Revit how big this thing actually is on the screen, which right now is reading 15 foot 7. So I'm going to left click right there. Now I have two options. I can either drag this out to 20 feet and it's going to take that point at, that I picked and scale the whole thing to 20 feet. So if I zoom out, I can just drag out and say I want this to be 20 feet and left click and it scales that. You can come into your measure and you know measure between those two to see if that's correct and you know it is correct. Um, I am going to control Z back and show you another way to do this. So left clicking on the image, going to the scale again, doing the same process, picking the middle. We'll just zoom in on that until we get really as close as we can. Picking on the middle Again, picking on the middle here to define the other point. And now instead of dragging out, I'm just going to type 20. Okay, and it's just going to take that original 15 foot 7 and scale the whole thing uniformly. So that's two ways that you can scale it. Now we just want to move it into place. <clears throat> so I'm going to scroll in on this, zoom on this corner right here. This is the AutoCAD line that's the outline of the roof. And here is the dash line that represents the roof. So I want to move that point to there. So again, making sure that the image is selected by left clicking on it, an image is current, I'm going to move, picking that point and moving it to this point. Now, sometimes you can't get the, it just wants to snap nearest and it annoys you. <clears throat> so right click, go to snap overrides, pick endpoints and it'll now override and snap to that endpoint. Now, if you want to, sort of nudge it. You can use your arrow keys and it will nudge nudge that thing back and forth for you um, if you want to. So, But I think we're pretty good, right, for right now. Um, yeah, it's close enough. Come in, maybe bring it down a little bit, but I think it's fine. Um, <clears throat> now, one last thing about the image. Whenever you have an image or something large and you're hovering over it, it wants to pick it and move it. So there are two things I recommend you do. Select it and then you will get a pen option. You see this pen in the modify panel? Pen it. Now you can't move it. Like it won't move accidentally. The other thing that you can do, and I have to make my screen a little larger, I believe, for you to be able to see this and actually move it over. So this is going to be a little weird, but down in the bottom, oh, down in the bottom right of your screen, you have a series of these options right here and they're toggle, they're selection toggles. So if I have something that's pinned, like right now I can select that but I can't move it. 
but you see this select pinned elements if you left click on that now I it doesn't select it it just ignores it so I would recommend doing that once you get the image set all right that's it